Yo, what's up, people? Hey, everyone. I know it's been, I know it's been a while since I've done my last video. I checked my video uploads, and like my last video was like uploaded a year ago, and I was like, oh my god, I know I've been missing on YouTube for like forever, but for good reasons. University and just life in general has just been so busy for me that uh, YouTube was like literally my last priority. But I'm back. So, I'm going to show you guys my hair regimen, a bit of a natural hair update, and um, all that. So, um, let me just put some earrings on because, you know, I look a little bit blonde without earrings. So, um, in 2015, I did not take care of my hair whatsoever. I neglected it, so that actually took a toll on my ends. And let's just say, it, my ends were looking raggedy raggedy. It was looking very, very not nice. So, um, December of 2015, I had to like chop two inches off. So, prior to the cut, my hair was about, I don't know, I think it was like roughly um, BSL. It was like nearly, like nearly BSL. And then I had to chop it off. So now it's like, it's like probably APO right now, which is a decent length. So I'm hoping by my third year anniversary, anniversary, which is um, July, that I'll get my length back if not December, but um, yeah, it's a bit more shorter, but it's so much healthier and stronger, so I'm really happy about that. So, yeah, and um, what else? What else about my hair has changed? Um, I mean, I haven't, I mean, my products have slightly changed a bit from my last hair care regimen. I'll put it down below if my old hair care regimen want to use up for reference, but um, yeah. It has changed slightly, but not that much. So, yeah. so my regimen. Um, I've now introduced cold wash into my regimen. <gasps> I know, I know previously I was like, I hate cold washing, I didn't like it, but I don't know. So, I have, I've started using um, the Eden Body Works All Natural Cold Washing Cleanser. Um, I just, I don't know what's in this. Like, it's, okay, I'm not gonna do the typical YouTube bait open and smell it, like, I already know it's not. Anyways, um, so, I just don't know what is in this thing. It's like, it's like they have put some magic in it. I don't know, but it just smells so good. It it has so much slip. Like it's not even. I'm not even joking with you. It has so much slip. It's just ridiculous. It cleanses my hair. Funny enough, because like when I used to when I um, used to co wash back in the day, co co washing to me never really washed my scalp as much as I wanted it to do. So my scalp was never clean whenever I co-wash. So I always have this product build up still on my scalp and like my scalp get itchy and like all that kind of stuff. But with this, it really does cleanse my scalp. So I've now sort of built co-washing into my regimen right now. So what I do is that I co-wash in between shampoos. So I'll co-wash pretty much two times a month every two weeks. And then I'll shampoo using my um, Shea Moisture. Um, strength and growth restore shampoo. Everyone knows about this shampoo. This is just the ish. Apparently this is a clarifying shampoo. I don't think it like, strips my hair. My hair still feels very soft and very moisturized. So I really do love about this. I really do like this very much. As you can see, I've already used like a lot of it because it's just great. So pretty much when I, when I shampoo, I always do like a protein moisture treatment, which is my DIY. I use my DIY con protein conditioner. If you guys want me to do a video on like how I do my DIY conditioner, then um, you know, like the video and like comment down below. So now I do that, then onto the conditioners. So for conditioners, <laughs> whenever I shampoo, I use the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey. Uh, you guys buy this. This is just magic. This and it's just magic. I don't know. As soon as I put this on my hair, softness galore, softness galore. It just makes my hair so soft and so moisturized. And when I rinse out the con this conditioner, oh, it's just lovely. Like I've never had a conditioner that has made my hair feel feel that way before. So this is really, um, this is really good. I definitely recommend this if your hair is feeling dry, feeling very brittle. I definitely will suggest that you go and buy this because this is just the ish.com guys. <sighs> it's just and then uh, for the days where I co-wash, I will use the Shea Moisture Restorative, um, restorative 
conditioner and um, everyone knows about this I just love this this is like I use it as a leave-in sometimes and I obviously use it as a rinse up conditioner after I co-wash so this is really good it keeps the hair moisturized and soft so um yeah I really do really love this okay so on to my leave-in slash um, moisturizers so for my leave-ins I use the Jamaican um, black castor oil leave-in conditioner this is just it gives my hair a lot of slip a lot of moisture and it's just lovely I just love this I love the thick consistency that this has it's just great it's just great guys I don't suggest that if you're finding if you're on the hunt for a leave-in conditioner that um, moisturizes the hair I definitely will suggest that you go buy this because this is just great and you get a lot of products so this will last you for a very very long time I've had this for about okay some of some of this actually spilt this is the con of this condition it's the packaging the packaging is shit this is just rubbish okay they should have put this in like some pump because me I'm clumsy okay sometimes so like I'm doing my hair and all of a sudden I just flick my hand next thing you know it's all over the floor so this is one of the floor they should have put this in like some pump or like one of these sort of bottles but anyways um this is great i love this i just love this so much this is really good um is either i use that or i'll use my kinky curly nut today obviously this one has not changed if you see from my last hair regimen hair regimen video i still use this this is just great it's a nice light leave-in conditioner for everyone and it has lots of slip and I just love it. I love this so much. And then for salient, for salient, I use um, either shea butter, which I mean everyone has it, or I'll use. I actually bought mine from Layla of Fusion of Cultures. Yeah, yeah, I bought my one from there. Her ones, her shea butter is lovely. Yeah. Um, or I'll use um, Oyen handmade burnt sugar pomade. Okay. This smells of like honeybees, like <laughs> this This has a funny scent, like when I first smelt this, when I first smelt this I was like what the heck is this, I smell of freaking like I was born on the grass or something, like I was born on a tree, I don't know it just, it had that scent to it but now I'm kind of used to the scent, I, I'm kind of adjusting to the scent, um, so if you are not really a scent type of person i definitely use it as you want but don't i don't recommend that you buy this but this will seal your hair and keep your hair shiny for day so if your hair is kind of lackluster and it needs a little bit of oomph to it i definitely suggest you go and buy this so prior to washing i will detangle with you either using this is a goodie this is the goodie ouchless comb i'll either use this or i'll use the felicia leatherwood so that's really it guys this is my regimen in a nutshell it's as you can see it's not that much i just kind of keep it very simple and then yeah i moisturize with my leave-ins so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll talk to you guys later bye